We have had a pretty good um, reaction to our painting video. Uh, a lot of people liked it. Uh, a lot of people want to do that style. I think it's a lot easier. I think, uh, you know, it's cost effective. And then I said, well, cost effective? I didn't tell them how much it's going to cost. So I think I'm going to do that right now. But hey, if you're getting any video, any, any kind of value out of any of these videos, especially this one, I would like you to hit that like and subscribe button. Like, subscribe, however you want to do it. Tell a friend. Helps our channel grow, and, and I would appreciate it. So I'm going to get to uh, showing you the products I use, which this is in no way an endorsement. I'm not getting paid, but I want you to know what I use and why I use it. So uh, let's get to that. The things that the, the general things that I use when I'm going to paint a camper. Uh, well, let's just start at the bottom. Uh, you got to clean it up. So a lot of times I'll use like these uh, Scotch Bright pads, some steel wool, um, things like that. And those are just extras. I didn't really include them. They're a couple of bucks because you're not going to use a whole lot of either one, but it's gonna you're going to need them when you need them. But what you definitely are going to need because you have got to i don't care how clean it is you should always always scuff up the aluminum it's going to help the primer stick which in turn is going to help the paint stick and that's means that it's going to last a lot longer so i use this product by diablo for my orbital sander uh that's 220 grit is what i like to use I like to get in there. Sometimes, as I told you before, I'll use a more aggressive grip, but 220 seems to work really, really well. And uh, so they just look like this. They're round, they, they go on. The, I like the orbital sander because it's not gonna leave as much of a trench if you get stuck, you know? So I use those, and these are only about six bucks. Six bucks for, I think, 15. That's pretty reasonable. And you're only gonna, I probably, on a camper of this size, I probably only go through five maybe six depending on how bad it is it's, it's a really good product i spend a little extra but man it is so worth it you heard me before talk about tape i have used the cheap tape and it just never seems to work and it frustrates me so that one time i said i'm gonna go buy the good stuff and i got this frog tape it was expensive it's 10 bucks for a roll i mean 10 bucks but i'll tell you this when you put this stuff on, it holds. The other, that blue kind of tape or whatever it is, anytime I was painting anything, it would always bleed through. I'd get so frustrated. So I said, I'm going to pay a little extra. Well, then I started doing a little bit of research, and it has paint block technology. I'm going to read this off the back. It's a super absorbent polymer that reacts with latex paint and instantly gels to form a micro barrier. This seals the edge of the tape. And it does. Cool technology. I'm cool with it. Uh, if I'm going to paint the roof, I like to double seal it. And the product that I use is a GAF Roofmate Top Coat. Roofmate Top Coat. Now, when I go on top, the first one I go this way. Then I let it dry and I go over it real thick with a roller this way. I use a roller on this product. I get it on there good and thick, because it's super thick anyway. It'd be almost impossible to get it through a sprayer. So that's the product I use on that. Now, it is, I think it was $28 for a gallon. $28 for a gallon. Now, pardon me, I forgot to get one of my cans of paint. Now, if I'm gonna prime, and you're gonna prime, you should prime everything after you get everything wiped down clean, we're going to put in this Zinser product. Zinser. I use white because I generally paint white or light. One, two, three, Bullseye Premier. Uh, the guy at the big box store said, this is the one you want. And I've done four or five campers now. And it's true. It, it, it works. It works great. Then, on top of that, I just get this product. This will tell you where my big box store is. Uh, it's bare, premium. I get the Ultra Pure White 8050. It's interior, exterior, high gloss enamel. And you can see behind me, it looks great. 
I really like it. And again, that's probably the fourth or fifth trailer since I've been doing this that I've used that for. Now that primer, 24 bucks. The interior gloss, $35, $35. It's starting to add up, but we're not getting too crazy. It's not too crazy. But now here's the big expense that many of you may not want to go through. And I think this is what keeps people on the paintbrush and the roller. This is the paint sprayer I use. I kind of leveled up. I had the smaller size of this, but this one really throws the paint. I'm telling you, it, it, it covers in one coat. And uh, again, nobody's paying me. Magnum X5 by Graco. True airless. It's airless. You just stick these tubes in the paint after you loosen everything up and you get all the water going through and you get the paint going through. Now, this was about three, 329, something like that, uh, 329, 339. But I went ahead and I sprung for the three year uh, warranty. So I'm never going to buy another, I'm never going to buy another sprayer because, uh, at the rate I'm going, I think this will probably clog up. Something will go wrong in three years. I'll just go get a new one because I bought the service plan. So that was like $379, something like that. And that might keep you out of it. But still, if you add all this up, I did not do that. We're going to get Russ to do that and put it up like right here or something. Right there. And he'll tell us what the total was. But really, even for whatever this number is, we're still only going to have a great paint job a well above average paint job we're still gonna be pretty reasonable but for me if I've used this already on four paint uh, paint schemes on a camper well I just divided that by four so I'm less than a hundred bucks on this thing and every time I do it the price goes down to where you know it's almost free now so uh, that's how I do it those are the products that I use I hope you like it I hope you get some value out of it and uh, stay tuned for our next episode.